Hey, what's going on traders? In this video, I'm gonna show you why I entered a put butterfly on Walmart. What's going on traders? In this video, I'm gonna discuss why I have a bearish to sideways bias on Walmart. But before we do that, we need to go over our top-down approach. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at the E-mini SP500 um, index features. We all know that the market has been just roaring higher and eventually it's going to have to pull back. And so I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I like to have some bearish trades as well as bullish trades um, when I'm swing trading. That way I am covered in the event of something uh, drastic happens overnight or a tweet or anything of that nature. We all know what happens when a tweet comes out. All right, since we're looking at Walmart, let's go ahead and look at the sector, the XLP, the spiders, consumer staples, obviously, and a really good uptrend, just trucking along as well. All right, now let's get to Walmart. All right, Walmart, this is why I have a bearish bias. Every time it hits about 120, it gets smacked right back down. It just does not want to stay above that level. And the reason yesterday why I entered is because of the candle, how we got below all moving averages and closed at the low. And since it closed at the low, it gives me a good suspicion that it won't be breaking up above 120. Actually, you know what? But I just have an idea. Let's go ahead and look at this. I bet 120 or around that area is some sort of Fibonacci line. Huh, boom, there you go. 121.41 is the 1618 Fib extension from the last low before the earnings or last earnings. There you go, that's always a good target to have and you just can't seem to get above that. All right, so wide target 115. Turning 115 because I do another fib line. Let's fix that down to the low. Chose 15 because that is right in between the 1272 and the 1618 fib extensions. And with the over market going up, um, I don't expect this to go down overly fast. And so therefore, that's why I'm targeting uh, 115 and gave it a whole month because I do have January's expirations. And also another reason why I am bearish is because right here on the 10x bars, these are from a simpler trading it's a little indicator they provide that you're getting sell sell um the adx is selling on all these time frames if you go to day chart we have one sell arrow and then another sell sell arrow all the arrow indicates is so whenever the 21 bar high broke the 21 high is low which would be this bar broke it right here so therefore it's saying it's breaking the low of this bar is all that really indicates all right now since all right I already explained the targeting there and then another reason is if you look at the options chain the loads I found this interesting how the 110, 115, and the 120, their uh, open interest is what I found intriguing. And so that was uh, another indication why I was wanting to target the 115. Now, if you go to the risk graph, we could discuss on how much I'm risking. And when I saw only buy, uh, my position size is only four, so I'm risking $468 to make a potential of roughly 1500 at expiration. But I'm not looking to hold it that far. If the market starts to pull back and starts to pull too far, since I do also have a loss on the other end, 
I'm just going to look to make at least 100% return on this trade. So as it goes down, and with the holidays, time decay will happen, and then it should nail roughly a 100% return within a week if it does start to keep pulling back. One other thing I also wanted to go over was that Walmart has a ginormous squeeze setting up Whenever the squeeze is indicated by the red dots down here, indicating that the Keltner channels are inside the Bollinger Bands, and then it means a big explosion uh, type move should be happening. A greater than a standard deviation should be occurring, is the textbook answer. Thank you for watching. Please, you know what to do: like, comment, share. If you have any questions, please write them in the comments. Uh, share it with your friends. I know this is only my second video and they've been a little rough, but uh, they're getting better. They're getting better. I don't know much about editing and making videos, but uh, they're slowly getting better. So go ahead and subscribe and then I, uh, you can see the next one that comes out. And you can keep me in check to make sure they are getting better. But until then, thank you very much. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.